Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You know, at this channel, we have a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and support preemptive strikes against those who do not believe in the same. Each person must be respected and treated as you want to be treated. So do unto others as you like others do unto you. As you can see right now, and you're looking at the LCD, you see that is, um, it is saying, black man, guilty. Yes. Is he ready to call the PMP LGBTQ official or officials who have gave the order to dirt Douglas Chambers? Yes, he is ready. Based on information received from law enforcement, Operators, black man is ready to talk. He's just waiting on his sentence to see how many years he's going to get because he claims that he's not going to go to GPRDP without naming these because he wants a better sentence or possible immunity. So let's see how this is going to work. It is poverty in a rich man to despise the poor and ignorance in the wise to despise the ignorant ignorance is an enemy even to its owner knowledge is a friend even to its eaters ignorance eats knowledge because it is pure i, 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 I hope you people who are listening get that you know i i, I should I repeat it because you have to understand you know, that knowledge is a friend even to its eaters ignorance eat knowledge because it is pure and as we have stated at this channel that those who do not know the truth are fools and those who know the truth and call it a lie are corrupted and criminal minded people yes we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel have seen witnessed and heard how the PMP LGBTQ plus party happily promotes chaos criminality support criminality and finance criminality let's not forget who has given us this gang called the clansman gang from spanish town saint catherine don't forget who has given us this clan from spanish town saint catherine the clansman gang who killed hundreds and hundreds of jamaica in pursuit of their dominance of draw fear into the hearts of the Jamaican people and was the poster child for extortion and still is and desensitizing the people to be criminal minded and ignoring their conscience let's not forget it was the PMP LGBTQ plus Prime Minister PJ Patterson a black man who gave this gang and chooses Donovan Bolby Bennett over member of parliament miss heather robinson i am not making up stops to get views all i am doing is to educate my black brothers and sisters in jamaica and the diaspora the truth hurt only the guilty and we're educating others around the world that the pmp lgbtq plus party along with the godfather dr peter phillips had given us this gang as he allowed them to flourish by supporting them in every way you can think of because he wanted the people of Spanish Town to become PMP LGBTQ plus supporters. As the PMP LGBTQ plus Prime Minister Michael Manley did to the people of PN Avenue, which they call Tavar, um, the correct name is Tavares Guard, Kingston 11, when they use criminals like Fed em Up and Bory Boy to kill and chase out the people of their apartments and the, in Payne Avenue and the PMP LGBTQ plus people from my birthplace of Jonestown, Kingston 12 captured the people's houses and they have lost their investment. They haven't received any compensation for their loss of property that the PMP LGBTQ plus party had supported. Remember that it is the same PMP LGBTQ plus party and government that embraces, supported, give comfort to Donovan Bolby Bennett, the leader of the Klansman gang, 
who was the most wanted man in Jamaica, was seen in the company of the then Prime Minister, the head of state, the then Prime Minister, P.J. Patterson at the National Arena, shaking hands. The most wanted man in Jamaica was, she was seen shaking hands with the PMP LGBTQ plus Prime Minister. It is alleged. And this information was decimated by farmer members of the protective service branch who are pmp lgbtq plus supporters in uniform and it seems like these police officers conscience although they are no longer serving is waking up because they realize what everything all of that fostering and enabling of criminality what it has turned the country into these police officers went on to say that they saw the Prime Minister, um, the Prime Minister hugging Donovan Bolby Bennett and from other high officials in the presence of their bodyguards who are police officers and were afraid to arrest this man because of his statute and standing in the PMP LGBTQ plus party. So imagine if you are a police officer and you are at the National Arena and you see the most wanted man in Jamaica been hugged by the Prime Minister of Jamaica what would you do what would you do Mr. Police Officer Mr. Detective the Prime Minister who's the head of the state hugging the most wanted man in your country and you're a police officer what would you do why honestly I couldn't even think of what I would do because I have never been of any affinity for any politician so that's why I don't I have never been to protective service, although I've received so many invitations to come and bodyguard people, but I just don't like, like politicians. Uh, they are the ones that destroy my community of Jonestown. Very peaceful place and they destroyed. They are the ones that brought guns in there, so you know, I don't know how I, would, how I would react because I would not. I have never been to a political conference of that magnitude of bodyguarding any politician. Or ever are. Uh, have I ever worked at one at the National Arena or anywhere? You know, we work in our community of St. Andrew South. Some of these police officers who used to be at Protective Services Branch in the 1990s are no longer members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Their consciences are finally waking up because they were blinded by loyalty to their political party, the PMP LGBTQ plus party, and not to the people of Jamaica. And for that, some of them have regret of, of what they have done by standing by idly and forget that they were police officers and not political enforcers in uniform. But, you know, to be frank, I don't think the police officers could have done anything right there then and there because if the Prime Minister embraced a hug the most wanted man in a Jamaica and all them, and talking with him, what can you do? Because if the Prime Minister said, boy, it is okay for this man to be here, and he's talking with him and laughing. You as a police officer, you have to be thinking about your career and your life because more or less if you even advance to him, maybe they would kill you inside the arena and nothing. You understand? Know, because they see no evil, you're no evil, you know, because they eat their own all the time. Please pause for a minute. Yes, please pause for a minute. Close your eyes and imagine that you are at a function with all of these people. Prime Minister Andrew Oldness. Yeah, stop talk, thinking about that you're a PMP. Just think as a Jamaican. I don't want you to think as a PMP or anything. Prime Minister Andrew Oldness, Bobby Montague, Darrell Vaz, Dr. Orius Chang, Mr. Warmington, yeah, the man who love cuss, like him with a bingo bag, Dr. Christopher Tufton, and all the GLP officials at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel at New Kingston. And then out of nowhere, you saw Christopher Dudu Squawk, who was wanted by the American government for drugs, firearm, dealing and racketeering offense. These politicians are embracing, hugging and shaking hands with this man who was want, who's wanted. That was before the extradition. As a person, how would you feel that your political leader are giving the most wanted man credence and a seat among them as equals? However, this this has never happened with the GLP LGBTQ plus party or government. It was PJ Patterson, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, 
Dr. Peter Phillips, Portia Simpson Miller, Peter Bunting, Philip Palwell, and the likes at a function. And in the mo in the midst, you are seeing the most wanted man of Jamaica, Donovan Bolby Donovan Bolby Bennett, the rapist, the rear admiral, the robber, the killer, the low IQ criminal in their company, shaking hands, hugging, and pumping fists as if he is some hero. The man killed Jamaicans who were against his criminality, and the PMP party gave him a platform for celebrity status. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica. It's criminal's paradise. Several Jamaicans are rejoicing at the conviction of Andre Blackman, Brian, and the others. What most of you people fail to understand is that Chief Justice Brian Sykes, the trial judge of the Klansman slash Wandan trial of this murder, was set of PMP LGBTQ plus thugs from Spanish town St. Catherine, who has unleashed terror on the Jamaican people was not easy for the Chief Justice. And here's why. Remember that Justice Brian Sykes and the PMP LGBTQ plus party and others in the political realm. These people that the people who are ignorant of their past are bound to make the same mistakes all over and over again. Because they fail to follow facts that are right before their eyes. Jamaican people do not jump for joy because this verdict was a force won on Chief Justice Brian Sykes. The Jamaican people were, are tired of the corruption of his court, which is a PMP LGBTQ plus court. Corruption rampant in the court. We, we have read it, hear it, that, this, that the court is corrupt in Jamaica as every other entity and agency in Jamaica. The only place that you do not have people who, are, who have criminal records serving in government is the police force. Yes, the police force is the only place that you do not have any convicted criminals. You have convicted criminals in the court, Isaac Buchanan, PMP LGBTQ+, so-called human rights lawyer, so-called con uh, and a con man who is ripping our vibes cartel, giving him false hope, because vibes cartel is going to die in prison. You understand? The same man who called black people monkey and them say, uh, and a meme attack as if them they are not black, you understand? Stupid people. So them they, they, these people they it's it's give them all they give it give them joy to know that black people are ignorant because you call them monkey and they're still they're still right behind you. So they rely on the people ignorance. So like for me, no, you could not call me a monkey and you don't apologize to what you have said and I am there promoting you. I said that I no, I am not any part of any political party. But to show you that the PMP have this disdain for the black people. Because they know that the people are ignorant, so you can disrespect them at all times. But as for me, I don't take kindly to those kind of things. I don't take kindly to nobody disrespecting me. Because I have self respect and I love and respect myself. You understand? So people do not jump for joy because this verdict was forced on Chief Justice Brian Sykes and the PMP LGBTQ plus party hierarchy by the Jamaican populace and most of all social media platform commentators like Serpy at Politrix Watch, Evan Blake and Poetry, The Advisor and YouTube who have pointed out the ruling of the judge on the bench in being a PMP LGBTQ plus activist. Those whose memories Memories are functioning. We remember that for the first time in our nation history, our judges did not report to work in protest against the current Prime Minister Andrew Olness, wanted to choose his own Chief Justice. Remember that elections have consequences and he won. So in a democracy, he has the right to select his own Chief Justice. But the opposition leader at the time, Dr. Peter Phillips, the godfather, financier of the Klansman gang in Spanish town and the PMP LGBTQ plus leader and its member along with the judges closed down the courts island wide and threatened the court system in Jamaica. Yes, most of you don't remember because most of you don't read and most of you don't listen news. Although the news is going to spin it for you, that's why you read. The news is going to spin it for you that to desensitize you. You understand? 
Yes, the judiciary threatened the government that if they did not install Chief Justice Brian Sykes as Chief Justice, they are going to resign as judges until Brian Sykes is so elevated to the chap top job. And Dr. Peter Phillips was head cook and buckle washer in this matter. Remember that this is the same judiciary that freed Tiefin, member of former member of parliament and junior minister current Spencer, the thief. Current Spencer, a big thief, you know, and him is the PMP. Show that them now no respect for you, the Jamaican people. They're bringing him back, you know. See, current Spencer is the leader of what well, is a year or three year in a PMP LGBT and he's coming now, you know, to take out to, um, to challenge our money. I'm just so we want to save the Jamaican people. Not because you people are from rural Jamaica, because I used to station in Silo. Silo people and the likes. You cannot, if you vote for current Spencer to represent you people, we know that all is lost in Jamaica. We know that you people now embrace criminality, because this man is a thief. Current Spencer, no, no matter because the court did free him, he still thief the money, millions from the Jamaican people, and he never apologized. So if you, you know, um, elect current Spencer to represent this community, this constituency, you know say all of you people don't they are thieves. So don't complain about crime, if crime hit you know and them thing. Ne. But we want the decent people in St. Elizabeth, if they are selected them, you make sure you do not send him to parliament because he's a thief. Current Spencer is a thief. You cannot put butter in front of pussy, I'm going to lick it and eat it. Current Spencer is a thief. For, you know, matter he was arrested and charged for thieving from us, the Jamaican peoples, coffers. You understand? So that is just my thing to my to the people in Silo Police area where I used to work. Yes, and I served there and I serve well. You understand? So I just want you people, you people who are honest, decent, ethical, and morally inclined people. I have learned a lot from you people there at Silo. One of the best police stations I have ever worked in my in the history of the police force for me, my experience there. I have learned so much working at Silo from these people. So I expect you people to do the right thing and denounce current Spencer by not voting for him. Yes, don't vote for him. You understand? This man is a thief. You want to keep them. Um, the PMP not showing you any respect. That's why they bring him back because they desensitize the people and they bask up and you people being illiterate and cannot re re um, read and write and understand things so they know to spin things and, and turn propaganda into truth for them. Don't remember to denounce this man at the ballot box in time the time come and choose a woman and name Jess. And not until the party changes way. Make sure current Spencer do not go back to parliament. Current Spencer should be in prison. He's a thief. You understand? So that's all we're asking the people of Silo. You understand? And it's, you know, adjoining communities. Because this man has stolen millions of the Jamaican people from the, you know, from the nation's coffers. The PMP LGBTQ Plus Party is bringing, him, bringing back current Spencer to thief more money because they are a criminal organization and expect their low IQ voters who are desensitized to decency, honesty, and truthfulness. Remember that it is the same PMP LGBTQ Post Party, which was the government that has done something unprecedented by appointing a man, Colonel Trevor McMillan, who was no police or law enforcement officer and has no experiences or certification as a police officer, but only links to the PMP LGBTQ Plus Party as a former member of the Jamaica Defense Force. And he is alleged to be the mastermind behind Green Bay killing and his reward for killing these young men who are from GLP, L, GLP community then in Southside Kingston was to appoint him as Commissioner of Police. So you see how the PMP LGBTQ plus party want to commit crime for them, you know, your reward is top job or they give us, they appoint you to something. So that is your reward for your criminality. Just like, um, Angela Brownberg, her reward for her father killing Ted Ogilvy is to be um, turn her into make her be a member of parliament now to pass laws that to curb to curtail criminality. Which honest criminal do you know? Or anybody who's affiliated with criminal criminality. 
You understand? So they, uh, this is what they did. They appointed um, the commissioner of police, Colonel Trevor McMillan, who has no law enforcement experience or certification. And the Prime Minister of Jamaica was trying to install his own Chief Justice because, you know, election of consequences and what they did. The same judges and the PMP LGBTQ plus party because they want to make sure that the court, you know, all of the government agency and entities stuck with PMP LGBTQ plus activists and they know once they commit crimes, they know at the end of the day they are going to be rewarded. But this case with black man, the judge, Chief Justice Brian Syke, you know that he was shamed. That's why we reached to this juncture. Anyway, if you have reached this far, this is part one of the guilty, the, 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 the guilty verdict of Blackman and the others from the Wandan trial. Thank you for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Jamaica Young Police Channel out and part two is coming up shortly. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica Young Police Channel out again. Peace.